In this video, we're going to run through how to set up TouchFree 2.0. TouchFree comes with its own application that you can run over an existing user interface. TouchFree 2.0 now has TouchFree tooling for both Unity and Web so that you can build applications with touchless control as a native feature. Whether you're developing your own application or using the touch-free application, you should follow these setup steps to get going. The first thing to do is set up your Ultraleap hand tracking camera. Whichever tracking camera you are using, simply connect the camera using the USB cable and position it so that it is comfortable to use. Next, download and install the latest release of the hand tracking software. This can be found on our developer site. You now need to run the touch-free installer. Read the terms and accept to continue. Make sure you have the correct file destination. Once installed, open the touch-free application from the start menu or by clicking the icon in the taskbar. On the welcome screen, choose Set up touch-free to begin configuring the camera to your physical setup. Select Setup Camera. We recommend you choose Quick Setup when you first install Touch Free. Choose the position that matches your physical camera setup. The default is below, but choose the position appropriate to your physical setup. Follow the instructions on screen to configure the camera for Touch Free. Step 1. Using an open hand, set the parameters of the interaction zone by using your index finger to mark where the target is in the bottom centre of the screen. Then press spacebar. Step 2 sets the top centre of the interaction zone. A touchless cursor will appear on screen. Navigate to Interaction Settings to modify global customization options. These options apply changes to the touch-free app and also to your own applications. You can change the interaction type choosing from air push, hover and hold or touch plane. For more information about the benefits of the different interaction types, visit the touch-free user manual on the developer resources site. You can customize behaviors such as whether scroll and drag is enabled. When scroll and drag is enabled, you get touch screen like functionality. You can scroll through objects and select and drag objects as you would on a touch screen. You can also modify the responsiveness of the cursor and, if using touch plane, you can set how far the touch plane should be from the screen. If a hand touches this two dimensional virtual plane, a click event is triggered. Ultraleap cameras can track hands over an impressive distance, so you might want to set a maximum distance to make sure that users have to be close to the kiosk to control the cursor. Touchless control now works very close to the screen and behaves very much like a virtual touch screen over the display. Navigate to user interface settings to customize the behaviors for the touch-free application. In user interface settings, you can alter cursor appearance by choosing one of the presets or by selecting custom options. Here, you can also set up the call to interact. The call to interact runs on the screen when the kiosk is not in use. Based on user research, the call to interact is designed to communicate to the user that the kiosk is touchless and how they should interact with it. For more information about the call to interact, as well as the touch-free user manual and the touchless design guidelines, head to our Ultraleap developer resources site. You will also find support, demos, and all the latest information on how you can make hand tracking work for you. If you are developing with touch-free, you can download touch-free tooling for web and Unity from the Ultraleap developer site.